Did you know there are nine psychological price break points that if you follow those break points, you can make yourself a lot more money? What are they? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you. And I see this heaps. There are psychological price break points that the difference in resistance between, for instance, um, $8 and $9.95 is negligible. Meaning, if you were thinking of selling your product for $8, you might as well sell it for $9.95 because in the minds of the customer, there is no real additional resistance for that extra $1.95 in what in that situation would be pure profit to your bottom line. Because remember, anytime you put things, you put some price on, you increase your prices, well, that's straight to your bottom line. So there are, as a result of that, what's called psychological price breaks points. And these are price points where um, we ought to be targeting for our products. So let me just show you exactly what they are. Because this makes a real difference to your bottom line. And listen, that's in there. You might want to screen grab that. Um, in this time of inflation, inflationary period that we're going through, you must have seen prices going up. I mean, it's pretty freaking crazy. Uh, in this time of inflation, these sort of things really, really matter. So if you're selling a product and it currently you're selling it for uh, $35, well, I would absolutely suggest you go up to $39.95, charge an extra $4.95 because there won't be a great deal of resistance, psychological resistance in the minds of the customer between those two prices. But the difference that makes to you and your bottom line is huge, is huge. So whenever I am uh, split testing prices, this is where I always go. This is what I always approach. This is what I always approach. Okay. So how much discount should you give? So this Black Friday, um, I don't know about you, but I noticed a consistent discount of 30%. So I saw heaps and heaps of retailers offering a 30% discount. Now, um, I don't know if that is the correct amount of discount to offer. But what I do know is this. If you have got an existing relationship with a customer, so you've built a brand and you've got a product that probably your customer would use and probably your customer needs. And what you're looking to do is just kind of tip them over the edge to buying it. 20% is typically enough to get them to buy the thing and just pull the trigger on buying it. Okay. So if there are, I guess you would think of that as a warm person, like they're warm, like they're not a lizard, uh, not a zombie. 20% uh, is enough to pull them over the edge and get them to buy the thing. Okay. But if it is to cold people who don't know you from a bar of soap and have not had the pleasure of doing business with you yet, so if they don't know you, they don't like you yet, they don't trust you yet, 20% is probably not enough to get them to pull the trigger on your product. Okay, so you'll have to go more. It has to be sufficient for them, for your offer to overcome that part of their brain, the lizard brain, that deals exclusively with safety. Like, shit, am I going to go? What's going to happen if I do this thing that I don't know if I should do? It's got to, it's got to overcome that. 20% is not enough for that. I don't know what is the right amount for that. I can tell you in all my testings, it's 50. But I don't know if it will be for you and what you're doing as well. 40. Great, that could do it. I'd imagine be interesting to see if there is a discount version of this as well. I will say this, um, pricing is interesting. Notice luxury 
luxury products always round up. So you won't find a Louis Vuitton bag, for instance, from Louis Vuitton for uh, 2499 That's not what it costs. It actually costs 2500 And so it's a bigger seeming number. And so I suspect it's better to charge to give, sorry, a 30% discount than a 29% discount, for instance. I'd imagine that's true. Um, I wonder if it's better to give a number like that, 31%. That would be an interesting test to do. But I don't know. I haven't actually done that test. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie online entrepreneurs. We are a community of two and a half thousand members and growing. We're the fastest growing community of professional e-commerce sellers uh, right here in Australia uh, with sales, by the way, of over 50 million dollars. 50 million dollars. Holy crap. If you'd like to find out more about what we do and how we can help you build your own e-commerce business too, get off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. The link for that is in the description. And thanks so much for watching. See you on the next video.